Hey, hey, this is Sapphire Chow, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Chow Gardens, or the Chow Garden of Let's Plays. We're gonna go right into here, because we can, and we always have been, and we have something a little bit more spoopy today. This here is the Halloween lobby made by Chow Garden Buster and Darky Benji. Just for the occasion, because you know it's 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 the time of spoopy. It's October Ween. It's uh, what what the skeleton month, pumpkin month. I don't know. It's what one of those special days. So we're doing that. So let us go. Which garden? Every garden's been reworked. So let us go and let's go look at the hero garden. So you might remember from our previous episode, we had some reincarnations. Let's see how are they going. We we have they're all they're all dressed up for the occasion. So we have our ghostly screamer final, and uh, we have uh, Blossom here with their own or like a poison apple kind of thing going on here. It's pretty nice looking. So even some of the hats have been reworked, which is nice. Um, this is Churro. They're wearing the uh, the eggshell from their many babies that they made, and they're still trying to they're still continuing to pay child support from all that. Uh, we have Trash, they're dressing up as themselves, because, um, you know, they're, they're trashy. Um, oh, we have Jerry. Jerry's gone a little bit spoopy as well. And, oh, here we have we have Wine. Wine here is going a bit ghostly and pump, pumpkin y ish That's not even a word, but who cares, I made that up. Um, we also have Potato here. Now, Potato, of course, is on the same spiritual spiritual le level as Trash, so... Um, <laughs> trash also, or as Potato is also pretending to be Trash today. Um, just for Halloween. And who else do we have? Oh yes, this chow here. Aaron Jesus has decided to do the opposite of um, dressing up and says taking off their mask and now they're going half naked or something. Not really. Just their head. is uh, Because they're always known to wear a mask. So now they're just not doing that for as their costume. So they're removing the clothing as part of their costume. Hello final. Um, who else do we have here? We've got a few more other chow, I'm pretty sure. Don't want to miss everyone, because every, everyone's got their own uh, costume, well, with a few exceptions, but every chow has their own costume. Uh, where else? Where else do we have? I think that's everyone here. Alright, I think that's everyone. But yeah, this is um, uh, Mystic Mansion Garden. I believe that's based on Sonic Heroes. I haven't played Sonic Heroes in ages, so I'm not too familiar with it. But uh, let's go Let's go here, this, this garden. This is Dark Garden 2, which is just a slightly more spookier version, so... Uh, Velvet didn't go anything too fancy, they just wore a mask and they just called it a day. Um, same with uh, Nebula here. Nebs here is just amputated their legs and so they're more uh, ghostly. Um, however, the child of Nebula, uh, Neberi, has decided to, to dress up as Nebula. So there we go. Um, so they're a bit of a matching pair there. But um, you're a little bit of a party pooper, so you're a little bit sad because of that. I'm sorry, everything's gonna be okay. Let's give you a pity fruit. Um, Neberi is a bit of a party pooper, a bit like Prism. Here you go. Have a pity fruit. Oh, you're hungry. Alright, um, who else is here? We have... We have a few other chow. Um, Snake has decided to go invisible. Instead of wearing their box all the time. So yes, they are an invisible, stealthy chow. And they're gonna be even more invisible. Even more stealthy, because you can't even barely see them. Um, FaZe has decided to go headless. The headless chow. Just for just for funsies, and Colgate has decided to go semi ghostly as well, so it kind of matches with what they're wearing, um, so it's quite nice. Oh, and uh, Potluck here. Potluck has actually decided to wear a pot instead of uh, a bucket as usual. So there's that. So there, there we go. We've got everyone's uh, their own costumes, and uh, I, I really like how this how this turned out for for Colgate. Colgate's looking really nice there. I think that's everyone in this garden, so let's go into the dark garden. And this here is the pumpkin hill garden. This is probably my favorite of the three of them. This looks so good. Works so well. Alright. So we've got some interesting things. We have Vortex here. They have decided to go as the uh, the bed sheet ghost. So they're just uh, wearing that. Um, we have some different themes going here. So the, the boy band, or at least most of the boy band, are wearing the Pac-Man ghost outfit. Except for Salad. Salad just wanted to be different and be a tree for once. Um, so, uh, instead we have Savant here, which is going as Pinky, and we have, uh, Shaq going as Inky, I believe, that was Inky. And then we've got Clyde and Blinky for Hazard and, uh, Crater. 
And here we have, of course, Prism. Prism Prism doesn't wear costumes because he hates parties. He doesn't want to be part of the festivities, so he's just um, he's just gonna do that. He's not, he doesn't have a costume. He doesn't wear costumes. You wouldn't be you wouldn't catch Prism dead in a costume. Um, yeah, sorry, essentially that. Oh yeah, and we can't forget Chuckle. Chuckle decided to go as a watermelon. For whatever reason, so we can keep smiling at people even where he's wearing, wearing a mask. Yeah, so you think that's very amusing, don't you? And I will say this, I absolutely love this music. The one without the lyrics just works so well. And, um, is that... that's not normal. That doesn't look normal. Okay, well, looks like even the, 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 the organ has decided to, uh, dress up and become... Partially invisible, I guess. <laughs> I haven't had that happen before. Oh, well, there we go. We have ourselves a glitched up uh, organ. That's nice to know. Well, the more you know. I just realized, is, is it flipped around or is it... Must be just a transparency issue, I think. Well, that's interesting. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Vortex. Much appreciated. All right. So we're going to do most of our work today in the hero garden because we have all our reincarnated chows in there oh and by the way chow Gun kindergarten also gets a rework gets a makeover and yeah it's pretty cool i wanted to see i want to see if anything else changes yeah so the coloring has changed up a bit and let's have a look at the health center we just want to appreciate all the differences that we got here Oh, you don't want to give me a checkup, no? Okay, fine. You don't have to only look at the chow. Um, principal. I think it's more to the palette. Oh no, wait. There's oh, is it, for a sec. Okay, that seriously looks like there's Jerry. Of course, it's not Jerry, but it, every time I see a, a dark run, run chow or a dark run, I always think it's Jerry. Um, I think these must have been like Darky Benjis or Chow Gunbusters chow in those pictures there. Um, well, that's nice. It's a nice, nice touch that they've got there. Actually, have they changed? Yeah, they've changed this one as well. Again, I do not know who these Chow are, but we'll just name them both. Um, we'll name them both Aaron. Okay, that's the placeholder name for everything. And then we got the lessons. So that's nice. And yes, there we go. Props to Ducky Benji for doing the thing. And now we're going to go to Black Market because um, I want to go buy some stuff. Or just one thing, really. Um, don't need eggs. We don't need that. We need seeds. I'm going to get a couple of hero seeds. Just because I will, I will actually reveal to you all what kind of uh, toppings we're thinking of making these rebirthed chow. First we want to go and uh, plant some trees. I don't want to plant too many because from from experience it seems to be that uh... Oh yeah, I just realized there is, there is no piano here. That's interesting. Normally there is one. Um, that is quite in spooky. Well Chiro, you can go plant that. And then we need potato to plant the other one. So wait, where's the other piece of trash they're looking for? Okay, you're doing that. Um, yeah, because potato's a bit of a potato. Oh, they are singing over there. Well, enough singing and start planting. We have to. We got we've got some business to take care of. Oh, yeah, and I've also got the, got the auto generate stats as well. Um, I sort of did that mainly because um, I didn't want uh, Savant to keep drowning while I was just doing re regular stuff in the gardens, um, because I have yet to do much raising with them at the moment. And have you found a spot yet? No, you haven't. Are they going to plant where the? <laughs> I think they might be end up planting where wherever the piano happens to be, because that's also a tree seed location, or not? Maybe not. Okay. Come on, you're our true tree disciples. There should be plantum a thingy. There must, be, there must be a plant of a thingy over in this corner. Plant of a thingy? Is there a, pretty sure there's a plant of a thingy in this cup. There we go. And now we're going to go back to Potato. Potato's still wondering where on earth to put that tree seed. Alright, I'll, I'll help you out here. There, has, there of course is something here. So let's let's do that. 
Come on. Come on, potato trash. Trash slash potato. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're after. So as for the different typings we're thinking of doing, um, looking at all your suggestions, I might be doing a few interesting things. So with Final, Final's going to be roughly the same type as he was before because I feel like that's a very established look for him. Um, he's a bit of a Super Saiyan Chow. So I think he will be a neutral... And is there a... Sorry, is that... A, <laughs> seriously, that's a drunk blossom. Uh, you found wine stash. Um, sorry. There was, uh, yeah, neutral run, neutral run power for most likely for final. Yeah, and I got distracted by Blossom's drunkenness. <laughs> um, oh yeah, oh, speaking of Blossom, let's just go back to you. Um, with Blossom's typing, I believe we'll make her a hero swim run type. I think she'll look really cute with that particular typing, so that's what we're going to aim to do. Ah, uh, Jerry over here, our edgelord, our resident edgelord. We're gonna do something very interesting with Jerry. I think with Jerry, we'll make Jerry into a hero run type, just for pure shenanigans, really. And just wait, Jerry will still be edgy, I'm pretty sure, because we, we est we've established that Hero Chow are still indeed edgy. Oh yes, uh, for wine. Wine, we are gonna make wine into a neutral swim type. I think that would really really nice for um, really nice for a, for a purple two-tone, like wine. Um, Iron Jesus, we might just make Iron Jesus into a, another hero type, probably like a hero nun. So I'm not going to really do much with their stats, I'm just going to let them do that. Um, just, just age until they, until they evolve and start ra raising their stats. Um, Chiro here has got an interesting mix of suggestions. Um, I'm sort of half thinking just giving them a bunch of random animals that aren't specific to a particular type and then see what we get, but chances are we might just get a hero nun type. Um, but since we're making hero nun for Aaron Jesus, I'm thinking Chiro might be a hero power type. Um, because since we're going to be down a few power types, and we might as well balance that out with making Chiro a power type. And seriously, Blossom, why are you so drunk? <laughs> so Apple not agreeing with you. That is like the best walk ever. It's so good when Wine did it. Alright, you're hungry. Go eat food. Um, I've also planted a few of these because um, while I want Jerry to become a hero type, I sort of want them. I still want Jerry to be raised by dark characters. So we'll be using these uh, hero fruits uh, to our advantage to increase that alignment um, in the hero department. Uh, who else do we need to focus on? Oh yeah, I haven't talked talking about potato. Potato, where, where's potato? Oh, Potato fell asleep over here, didn't she? Yeah. So Potato is typing. I'm thinking Potato's probably going to be another uh, hero -ish? No, no, actually, maybe neutral, I think. Neutral swim. Neutral swim power, maybe? Just think that would look, that might actually suit Potato in a very interesting way. So that's something that we want to look into as well. Um, anyone else? Just trying to think. I'll make sure I'm not forgetting anyone. I think that's everyone. Pretty sure I think that, that's everyone. So... Just letting you know, that's that's our game plan. And uh, Trash is here just, just because for moral support. I don't know. <laughs> yes, uh, Trash is not the trashiest chow in this garden. It was Zach. Well, actually, no, Zach is dead. So now Trash is now the trashiest because um, we lynched Zach in the last episode. Just letting you know about that. Alright, we have summoned thine uh, Chaos Drives. So these are the different types of, uh, well, these are the things we're going to use to start influencing our chow. First, we've got to feed you, because you're, you're hungry. Uh, probably won't do with you, anything with you just yet, Jerry, because I'm not a dark character at the moment. But we have you, and I know we're going to give you some power, power drives. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, let me guess. You're trying to... Which tree are you trying to move? Oh, you're moving this one? How are you even doing that? Oh my god. Chiro just used the force. That is just... That is so... Oh my god. That was crazy. Chiro, you, you, you... What sorcery is this? I thought you were shaking this one, but no, this one was the one that was moving. Seriously. Oh, well, I'm going to give you that now. I think we've got you, given you enough uh, power influence, I believe. So now let's move on to you, Final. 
our lovely resident screamer, our legendary screamer. Now, I, thanks for all those who have sent through feedback about what kind of Chaos Chow we would like to see. So, which Chow are most deserving to be Chaos Chowified? And Final's definitely up there for being a neutral Chaos Chow. So this will be definitely interesting. Um, I, I reckon if we can preserve their face through mods, um, which is possible, um, I think they'll look really amazing as a neutral Chaos Chow. So I think, again, uh, it's all tentative at the moment because we haven't fully, I mean, they're not I exactly ready yet to be Chaos, uh, in made into a Chaos Chow. And there are so many Hungry Chow here, that's really annoying. Yeah, but just letting you know, Final has been a candidate to be a neutral Chaos Chow, so that is something. Um, and I think that, and I really think that's going to be a really nice combination for Final. Oh, now you're the one doing the. Oh, now it's Potato doing the the steppy 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 dance. Okay, well, who wants to join Potato? How about you, Chiro? Do you want to join the steepy steppy dance? Yay! Even though you have no legs, you do a damn fine step dance. I realize it actually really works well with this background music. <laughs> ah, good work. Alright. So Blossom is becoming a swim type, so therefore we need to give them some of them swim drives. Now with Blossom, I find Blossom is certainly one of the fan favorites to become a hero Chaos Chow, and yes, I would definitely say that uh, Blossom would look very adorable as a hero Chaos. So that probably might be the most likely candidate, but again, nothing, I mean, I'll say nothing set in stone just yet because it's still early days. But that is a very high chance that we'll get Blossom into a, uh, as a hero chaos. I also just think that she looks so innocent. She's like the pure innocent one. So I feel like it's, it's going to be quite fitting for her character to be a hero chaos chow. Like she, she'll always, I think she'll always forever be a hero chow, regardless of her typing. Alright, so I'm running low on uh, these drives. And I kind of need to share these around with the rest of the, the rest of the crew here. So we need, we need to start rationing. We can't stop goofing up the the reuse glitch because that's not very convenient for us. Now Potato is also get doing the uh, the swim or more neutral swim, but I derped. Whoops! All right. <laughs> I think I've only got the one 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 drive left. Let's not screw this up. Famous last words. Okay. Now, no one's really mentioned potato. I think only one person at one time mentioned that maybe potato. What the hell? Okay, are you are you using the force as well? Yes, you are using the force against this tree. Look at this sorcery. <laughs> what the hell, potato? Okay, this, that is, why, why are you doing, first it was Churro and now it's you. You're doing me a concern, Potato. <laughs> like seriously, how, you're like far away from the tree and you still somehow, through sheer will, you, that you are able to push the tree. <laughs> oh, whoops. Well, that's, there goes all the things there. All right. I think that should be enough for you. I think I'm gonna need to grab another batch of chaos drives. Um. Oh, anyway, while I'm here, Jerry, by the way, our edge lordy, edgy McEdge face. Um, he is probably the fan favorite to be a dark chaos chow. And granted, he's probably like the only uh, of, like reincarnated chow that you know is suitable to be a dark type. So probably Jerry. Prism has been thrown around as a suggestion as well. Um, to be a Dark Chaos Chow. So both are very viable options. Um, but at the moment, I think Jerry's most likely because he's a little bit closer to... Well, the fact that he's reincarnated just makes him a lot closer to being a Chaos Chow, so... There you go. 
All right. See you later, Jerry. And who else do we have? Oh, yes, Wine. Wine here. Our sexy tall boy, who is not so tall at the moment because he's a small. Um, this chow here. Um, got some interesting results, so for Wine. Um, we're thinking of maybe making Wine into a Chaos Chow. A few people have suggested uh, having Wine as either a hero or a neutral Chaos Chow. So there's that as well as an option. And final, what the hell are you doing? What is all this Chow trying to... There's no ch there's no tree there. Oh my... Wait, did you just... No, this one's not rustling. So you're just... You're just... Uh... So you're just trying to shake a tree that doesn't exist? Um, okay. <laughs> you confuse me. Why is all these why is all these chow confusing me with their sorcery? Anyways, one maybe could become a chaos chow as well. So this is another another tricky thing that we could either have Blossom, uh, Jerry, and Final as the three Chaos Chow, or one could be in the mix as well. So it's a little bit 50-50 at the moment, I think. Um I guess when it comes to the neutral chaos chows, I think, because um Wine definitely is up there because in terms of looking really awesome um, for either hero or neutral chaos chaos. So just letting you know about that. Or maybe we'll just make four chaos chow anyway, just for the sake of making four chaos chow. <laughs> so I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I'll make every single um, all twenty-four chow into different um, chaos chow. I'm not making Zach into a chaos chow. Okay. <laughs> Same goes for trash. All right. Um, let's see. Who else did we need to group? We, I think we need to give someone else a few more of these. I need. I think you need to get you some more. Uh, oh, you're. Are you asleep? Okay, yes, you're asleep. Never mind. It's hard to tell when they're wearing masks. Playing flute for uh, wait, are you actually? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're doing that one properly. Orange Jesus is shaking the tree properly, ladies and gentlemen. That's a first. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that even the maracas gets a makeover. Oh, even the bell's a little bit different color. Well, that's interesting. Well, I didn't realize that also the instruments got a got a slight change as well in their coloring. That's pretty cool. All right, I am back here again because I want to test out something. There is a little thing I want to test out, so. Our previous fail experiment was um, using phase for something, but I want to use phase again for another test experiment. And yes, that means having to wake them up and perhaps undecapitating themselves. So let's just do that briefly. So the head's back. And yes, they're tired, and yes, they're probably going to hate shadow for this, but then don't worry, they already hate shadow, so therefore I can't do any more worse. So we're going to do something very interesting. So for those who might be familiar, there's also something called magnitude. So when I've got you here, so their magnitude is roughly halfway. If I put their magnitude to like the legal maximum, essentially, and I'll just, oh wait, I can't do that because they're tired. Hang on, I need to fix this. All right, now that we've fixed that, their tiredness, let's go make sure that they refresh by petting them. So that's what happens when you got full magnitude. Sort of has more developed second evolution. However, we can do a little something called negative um, magnitude, which of course isn't isn't possible in normal gameplay. But we're going to mess around with this for, with Phase because he is our test test dummy, our guinea pig. So let's see what horrible things come out of from this. So now let us let us do the, just that. So let's see what happens if we change that magnitude to negative one. Um. Okay. Well, that happens. It's a little bit distorted, kind of. It's kind of cool, actually, but uh, let's 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 go let's go further. We can actually go even more. So let's go let's go negative a hundred. 
Negative 100 magnitude. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> there's, there's, there goes the explosion. Um, yeah, that, that, that looks normal. This is fine. <laughs> so we, we, we have successfully made uh, phase explode. And you can sort of see their horns. They're still there. Still technically there. Alright, um... Let's, 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 let's go, let's go even further. We must, we, we, we can take this even further. Um... Negative 10,000. Oh god, here we go. Well, um... It's all skyrocketed down to hell from here, I guess. But there we go, there, he, we can't find his horns, his horns are nowhere to be found. Um, okay, this is interesting. Let, let, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go even further. Uh, I think that's a, I don't know, I, I did a, let's, let's go even further, like, like a million or something? I think that's what it was. Anyway, let's see what, what we get from that. And here we go, the face is now broken. <laughs> the face is broken. And you know what this kind of reminds me of? Kind of reminds me a bit of um, the polydynamic chow from the Dreamcast games. So the, the whole this, the, the chow's whole body's literally vanished now. Your body has vanished. And you can sort of see them from both sides. That's, that's pretty cool. And is that their wings, I think? I think it's that's their wings. So the wings are still intact. All right, let's let's let's, let's go even further. Actually, they're, they're, actually their mouth is right here. You can barely see it though. Uh, if I can get a good like close up, but their their mouth is is just hovering as well. We're, we're making some abomination because it's the month of spoopiness. All right, let's keep going. Um, okay, they they disappeared. They're gone. <laughs> Phase has has phased out of existence. Actually, what happens if I just uh, enter the gardens here? Yeah, now you're phased out of existence. <laughs> All right, what happens if we, since they're currently phased out of existence, let's go change it back to zero this magnitude. And in doing so, I think it should snap back to normal, but I might look a bit more. Uh, I don't know. Might not look the same. Oh, there we go. Go back semi-normal. Oh, there, 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 there you go. There's your balls back. I think I think like the body is almost completely confused about what the hell it's supposed to be doing right now. All right, let's go back out here. So now that now they're normal. Now they're looking in their normal self. But now let's actually test out the magnitude. F that's uh, great. So normally your magnitude goes up to. One or something maximum. Let's let's have a magnitude of fifty. So instead of going negative magnitude, let's go more fancy. Let's go more fancy with uh, fifty magnitude on this chow. Oop! All right, so uh, look, looking quite nice there. <laughs> nice as in quite horrifying. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens when we go. I'm just gonna go just like seven hundred thousand. Like, it's gonna go one to two, one, one to a bazillion very quickly. This is gonna escalate like, quickly, won't it? Yep, and it's gone. Actually, that's interesting. So your your face is still technically there. Actually, wait, that doesn't look right. <laughs> what is with your face? <laughs> your face just doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So the misaligned eyes is a very is a trademark thing for polydynamic chaos. This is really interesting stuff here. Even like the mouth kind of distorts a bit in this location. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go to... I'm gonna add an extra few zeros to this. I think they might phase out of existence, maybe. Yeah, okay, so then they're phased out of existence. All right, let's put them back to semi-normal, a little bit more normal than usual, I guess. <laughs> what is this normal that you speak of? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to just pet them again and see if we can get phase to phase back into existence. 
Oh, there they are. They're just a pair of eyes. Okay. So when, when you tamper with Myth Magnitude, um, this is eventually what happens. It's a beautiful mess. Oh, now they're just a pair of... Okay, no, they're a pair of wings. Okay, that is... That is interesting. And the back of their eyes look even worse. Okay. So there you have it. This is when, when, when you tamper with magnitude. And I didn't mean to throw you. Sorry. Well, there we go. We took you out there. All right, let's let's take you back to where you belong. Oh wow, you can actually see their face, their their um their mouth. So their mouth is just somewhere in in between the the eyes. <laughs> Alright, what happens if I just take them back to a normal value? And are you doing an edge? We don't we don't take those. I know you're an edge lord. But let's let's, let's put you back to Alright, that, that, that's that's normal enough, I think. <laughs> All right, so now you're now, now you're doing an edge. But I, I do love the fact that we can see the the back of. Yes, I think you're now pissed off the fact that we've we've uh, t used you used you as a guinea pig. What do you want to beat up? Beat up a tree? Do you want to beat up that wall? That wall's done done you wrong. You don't like that wall. No, nope. all right, you've done edging. All right, well there you go. <laughs> well, this has been a rather fun exercise of uh, butchering up phase. So <laughs> there we go. There you have it. So, I think we might finish things up here. It's been a relatively spoopy episode of many spoopy festive things. So this has been... Sapphire Chow, and this has been a rather butchered looking phase. And I am over. And out. <laughs>